There are hundreds of different projectors on Amazon at any price point, so how do you make a decision and why would this one be better choice than some other projector? If you have good eyesight and have access to Full HD content, then you would want a projector with native Full HD 1080p resolution, instead of the ones labeled with just 1080p supported. This is Cronoa XPE600, a home movie projector with a native Full HD 1080p resolution. One of the highlights that most other projectors in this price range don't have is the physical keystone correction. That is the adjustment of the angle of the projection by physically shifting the LCD inside. So if you project from an angle, like a higher ceiling or from a low table, it makes a huge difference in vertical sharpness across the image. It is simply adjusted with the first of the two lens rings. The second lens ring adjusts the focus. It does the job, but the focus ring doesn't allow for smooth turning. The image quality is slightly better than I was expecting from a projector in this price range. There are additional adjustments of color in the projector settings, like vivid and natural, but I prefer to adjust it in my movie playback software. It has two HDMI inputs, you can connect one to your computer and the second one to a wireless streaming device, such as a $35 Google Chromecast. The projector doesn't have the built-in streaming capabilities, but that is also why the price is lower and most of us have Chromecast, Apple TV, Roku or other streaming devices we can connect to it directly, or a gaming console. It is an LED projector, rated for 50,000 hours, so there is no need to worry about the life of the lamp. Under the rubber feet you will find mounting holes for upside down projection when it's ceiling mounted and it also supports rear projection. Rotation and flipping is controllable through the remote. One thing I adjusted right away is I turned the noise reduction off. I prefer it that way. It has the built-in speakers and the sound is decent and clear and since it is an LED projector it doesn't heat too much so the fan noise is not as loud as the older DLP projectors. There are touch controls on the top, but I actually prefer physical buttons as I have pressed these by accident a few times. And I'd prefer if I couldn't see the LEDs under the buttons. I have measured that at the distance of 224 centimeters, or 88 inches, the image width is 147 centimeters, or 58 inches. So I have calculated throw ratio of 1.534. With this you can also calculate how large the image will be for your room size. Take the distance between the wall and where you will place the projector and divide it by 1.534. Units don't matter. So for distance of 4 meters, the image width will be 2.6 meters. Or at 4 feet, the, the image width will be 2.6 feet. Even though the resolution is high and the image is rather sharp, it's not suitable for office presentations where you would want to show mostly presentations with text. The color uniformity and color banding is not as good as $800 projector, but I don't think it would be worth paying extra for something that you wouldn't notice while watching movies and TV shows or playing games. Since the adjustments like keystone and focus are manual, I'd recommend it if you want a permanent projector placement, mounting on a wall or a ceiling. If you buy it, also get a good projection screen as it will make a big difference in contrast and projection quality. Enjoy!